would say probably a five or two. Um, and and I, I just, it's just not that interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you have things that happen and you've got the lesbian relationships <coughs> and stuff like that, but you know, at the end of the day, it's jail. You know, you get up, you go eat, you come back, you get counted, you smoke, you go to work, you come back, you shower, you eat, you go to bed. Okay. That's it. You know, you don't, you, you just don't have that lighthearted um, whole deal social thing going on. You just don't. You know, it, 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 you have your moments at the end of the day when you might sit around and chat for a minute to the bunk that you can, that's two feet from you. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, I just think it's interesting to people that haven't been because you can't go in and watch it every day. And so it's interesting because you're like, oh, that's what goes on in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, remember, like I told you the other day, my dad, my stepdad, with the do y'all wear nightgowns <laughs> question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that just blows my mind six years later, and we still make fun of them. And so I think it's more of a, I don't know what's going on. So when you do show me a little glimpse of what's going on, I get excited. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but it's not, it's like everyday life. If I followed you guys around all day, you know what I mean? When you're in prison, that is your life. Absolutely. Period, point blank. <coughs> you know what I mean? That's just mm -hmm. your life.